Going next, uh, Alexis. If I were to pin the wall and ask what is this shiny material lining the wall? Peritoneum, function of the peritoneum is always? Line the body wall or line the body cavity, correct. All right, if I go up here to this big structure, Rachel. Mm -mm. Okay, excellent. It's the heart. And function of the heart? Pumps blood. Pumps blood. Wrapped around the heart are these little soft frilly. There's a bunch of different lobes. Marilla? The lungs. the lungs. Function of the lungs? Okay, four. Take an air, and what are they going to bring into the blood? And what are they going to get rid of from the blood? CO2. CO2, excellent. So they bring in O2 and remove CO2. Okay. Um, it's only just a little bit left here, but if I pin this tissue that was right around the heart, what would this tissue be called, Carla? Uh, mm -hmm. Does anyone know this one? Pericardium. Pericardium, which is again the tissue that surrounds and protects the heart. All right, if we go under the heart, under the lungs, there's this huge, dark, big organ. What would this be? Um, May. The liver. Three functions. Excellent. Creates bile, removes metabolic waste, and stores. Nutrients. And which nutrient is it storing? Glycogen. Correct. If I pick up the liver, see if I can angle this. Might be again. The video is nicer than what we can see up here. There's this little green balloon that is on the base lobe of the liver. Melissa, what would this little green balloon be that's on built into the bottom of the liver? Gallbladder. Function of the gallbladder is? Stores bile. Coming down from it is a narrow tube. What do we call the tube, Adriana? Excellent, the bile duct. And its job is to drain bile where? into the duodenum, correct, and you said it perfectly. All right, if I then pick up the liver, there is this deflatable pouch. It's a deflatable pouch. What would this big, huge pouch be? This would be uh, endia. Nope. Diaphragm would be above the liver. It'd be this whole thing sitting on top of the liver. I know it's kind of hard to see, but again, it's just a little deflatable pouch sitting underneath the liver. The stomach, function of the stomach, and what kind of digestion will occur in this single stomach? Mechanical and chemical, correct. All right, going back up, this big, huge membrane that was above the liver, Danielle. This huge flap of membrane, real thin. Diaphragm, two functions. Excellent, so it contracts to bring air in, in and out of the lungs, second function. Remember, it was sealed onto the wall, which means it was separating the two cavities, correct. All right, wrapped around the pouch of the stomach is this flat kind of darker, smooth looking organ. Uh, Henry, what would this one be? Spleen. spleen, three functions of the spleen. Henry, which would be? Beautiful. All right, Kenny, help me out. If I pick up the stomach, directly underneath the stomach is this cottage cheesy organ. Pancreas, three functions. Trips in four. Protein breakdown. Excellent. What else is it doing besides enzymes? So all those were enzymes that it releases. What else does it release? By releasing? This was a tough one I gave you because there's a lot to it. Starts with an I? Insulin. Excellent. Last thing it does? All right. We'll move into the back. Um, Ashkin. Last thing the pancreas does besides release enzymes, release insulin. The um, like raising pH 
Excellent. So it releases high pH to neutralize stomach acid. And what is the compound that does this? Sodium bicarbonate, perfect. All right, then if we go from the pancreas, um, Phoebe, we have all these tiny little skinny scrawny tubes. These would all be the? Small intestine. Small intestine, excellent. Small intestine has two functions. Further digestion and nutrient absorption. Excellent. Gabby, then we have this big wound up tube. That's large intestine. Two functions? Reabsorption of water and packing of feces. Excellent. So mostly reabsorption of water in the large intestine. All right, then if we go, if I tilt it over here to the side, this is what has a function in them and it has lost its digestive function in us. If you look really carefully, and I know it's, again, let me see if I can put this under paper towel to show it a little bit better. There's the skinny small intestine too which then you comes out into a tube that goes absolutely nowhere, and then it becomes large intestine tube. This little extension tube is called what? Um, Samantha. Cecum. Cecum. Function? Exactly. So it pretty much helps digest what compound? Cellulose. Okay. If I move all these organs to the side, built into the wall, so sealed with peritoneum is this little round structure. Alex, what would this little round structure be? Way in the back wall. Kidney, excellent, three functions. Excellent, water, salt, and metabolic waste filtered from the blood. Perfect, and again, sealed into the wall with peritoneum. If I rotate to this side of the kidney, there's this tiny, let's see which one is better. This one is kind of hard to see, but there's this tiny little structure. If I can get this arm out of the way. Tiny little structure that sits right on the top inner side of the kidney, Ben? Adrenal gland, function of the adrenal gland? Excellent, releases adrenaline into the bloodstream. Purpose of adrenaline is to do what to the body? Speed it up or slow it down? Speed it, Speed it up, excellent. If I swing over to this side of the kidney, we'll do the whole excretory system. From kidney, we have a tube that's kind of this clear whitish tube that comes from the inside of the kidney here. And Joe, what would the, be the name of this tube that drains the kidney? Um, ureter. Excellent, so the ureter drains urine from kidney to where? Excellent. Function of the bladder, back up here, Shervin. Um, bladder would be right here. It stores the urine. Right? Stores the urine, correct. From, this is a female pig, by the way. So again, kidney to ureter, ureter to bladder, stores urine. Bladder then drains to the top tube in a female, which would be? Urethra. Urethra, Keith, function of the urethra? Exit point for urethra. Exit point for urine, correct. Now, next track would be the reproductive track. Again, this is a female. So the first large little swellings here on both sides would be, Greg? Uh, ovaries. Two functions for the ovaries? Uh, produce estrogen and the ova. Excellent, produce female hormones and ova or egg. Then it goes into all these little tubes, Justice? Um, oviducts. Oviducts, purpose of the little tubes, oviducts? Um, they make the tube where the eggs come down. Excellent, so transports ova. Then it unites right here in the middle, underneath the bladder, this tube where they unite, Allison? Mm -hmm. The uterus, function of the uterus? Uh, where the fetus develops. Excellent, where the fetus develops. If we then go down from the uterus, it's now the second tube underneath the urethra, Alexis? The vagina. Excellent, vagina, function? Copulation. Excellent, copulation, so copulatory organ, where sperm is gonna be released. Then if I pick up this tube underneath, there's a tube underneath this, which is greenish in color, Rachel? The rectum, the rectum function of the rectum? Reabsorbs water and stores Excellent, reabsorbs water and packs the feces. All right, and did I miss anything? No, right? 